afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, my name is Anthony Ang. I'm the CEO of Fortune Reed, first cross-border Reed uh, listed uh, in Singapore, which that owns uh, Hong Kong uh, properties, and of course, um, denominated in uh, in Hong Kong dollar. It is currently also the only Reed uh, that's dual listed in Singapore and Hong Kong, and enjoys a very unique position of accessing both the very uh, vibrant uh, REIT market in Singapore as well as the very liquid uh, Hong Kong equity market. As a cross-border REIT, fortunately is different from other local Singapore REIT in that our distribution is uh, tax exempt to all uh, unit holders because uh, the property that uh, we own are uh, all held under uh, what we call SPVs, and these are all tax at source already. So we, when we distribute, we distribute dividends. So these are tax exempt to uh, unit holders who receive the dividends. Whereas, of course, in Singapore, if uh, when you get distribution, at least uh, for institutional investors, uh, they are subject to some tax. The REIT uh, uh, portfolio comprises 14 uh, private housing uh, retail property in Hong Kong. 2 million uh, square feet and uh, of course uh, a lot of car parks as well as the, the valuation, uh, the most recent valuation uh, put us at 15.7 billion uh, Hong Kong dollars. Market cap uh, as of 30th of uh, June this year was uh, 6.4 billion and uh, we distribute 100% of our tax exempt income and uh, on a semi-annual uh, basis. REITs are, are of course now quite popular and perhaps this one reason why Philip decided to organize this that it is popular because uh, investors are now concerned about uh, <coughs> the market being very volatile and you want to look for good defensive investment uh, also in a low in, in interest environment uh, currently uh, means that actually REITs are very attractive uh, investment you look at the, the yield of 6.7% compared to you know, the first one was the, 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 the real estate index and SDI yield and so on it really offers very good yield. Safe investment, good yield. Uh, it is the highlights of, the, of our results in the first, second quarter. We report our results every quarter. <coughs> you see that the, there's a group, uh, a good uh, top line and uh, bottom line, uh, uh, and also very strong uh, uh, operational performance. The reporting period is the uh, first half of uh, this year, and the revenue uh, for the period was up 8% year on year to about $447 million Hong Kong. Um, the net property income increased 5.7% um, year on year to uh, $319 million and this is driven by very strong positive uh, rental uh, reversion of 13.8%. While the occupancy, the portfolio occupancy rate increased slightly to 98.1%. The retail sales in Hong Kong grew by a big margin in the last uh, four years. The figures are, are that uh, retail sales grew in value by about 10.6% in 2008. 2009 was fed almost flat, 46%, and then 2010 it went up 18%, and this year it's going to be 25 to 30%. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, over the last four years, you know, the retail uh, uh, sales in Hong Kong has, has, has actually increased about 65% or more. And uh, for the first seven months of this uh, year, total retail sales has increased by 25% in value and about 19% in volume over the same period uh, a year earlier. Why we, we people are concerned about expiry because you want to make sure that you know, it can continue to do well. So if there's expiry, you can you know, retain your tenant or get new tenant. And it's very typical of uh, of of, uh, of REITs because or of even uh, retail property because most most leases are three years. So you see uh, on average, you know, every year about expiry 30, 40 percent expiry. And you, you see the profile here. Of course, here it's a lot higher because of one property we bought a few years ago that happened to have expiry you know, kind of coinciding so this one's a little higher than normal uh, but we are not concerned at all because our retention our retention of tenants is very high and we have been able to also replace tenants that don't stay and occupancy as you saw earlier you know, has been very strong AEI AEI means Asset Enhancement Initiative for a for a manager of a more of a portfolio, more, what do we do? We try to grow the asset by two ways. One, of course, you can acquire more malls. 
Yellow is actually improve the existing mall, and we usually call it asset enhancement initiative. Uh, currently, we have uh, we have two projects ongoing, but I just explain the context. Why we are able to do now is because now we have fourteen more, and because we have fourteen more, we are able to kind of uh, you know do a, have a rolling plan to improve your mall. Most of mall, some of the mall rather. Uh, about 20, 30 years old, quite old already. Some are maybe 10, 5 years old, 5 to 10 years old. But we do have enough more for us to really make improvement. And because we have 14 more, we are able to do this on a rolling basis without disrupting our income. What else are we doing? We are, of course, uh, also, uh, uh, in a sense, doing rebranding. The reason why we wanted to do this rebranding is because we have 14 malls, and all the malls are different names name after the location and so on. So there's no, you know, there's not enough of opportunity of cross-selling and, uh, and identity, if you like. So uh, just recently, we decided to, in fact, you know, rebrand the Fortune Read Mall to call it, if you like, We Are Fortune Mall. And this is a new name for the portfolio of Fortune Reach Mall. And the objective is to better connect and communicate with all our stakeholders, whether they are tenant shoppers or the, 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 the and, and, uh, tenant shoppers, is just a community that we are located in. And really, uh, to, to, uh, to, if you like, improve our identity and, to, uh, and bonding with these communities and make the mall the preferred place for their daily shopping, for their social and other activities uh, uh, with people that they are, they are close to. So that's, that's really a concept and I think it's been very well received uh, so far. First of all, we think uh, no, we have a tra good track record, as I mentioned. Steady, uninterrupted growth and very good yield. Uh, it's proven to be a very good investment for, for unit holders. Uh, who has actually uh, 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 no, stayed with us over the years. Uh, the assets are resilient and, uh, and, 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 and the steady uninterrupted growth over the years uh, has demonstrated that. And uh, the yield at 6.7% is very attractive. Number two, I uh, mentioned resilient. Resilient again. Uh, resilient simply because these are unique class of assets serving the daily needs of people uh, in this community. And it's a good defensive investment, we think. Uh, the, the, the surprising thing is that it is actually not affected by business cycle. And this makes investing, we think, in Fortune Rin particularly attractive in the current uh, uh, very uh, volatile uh, environment. Um, I mentioned earlier, you know, neighborhood mall is always there, always needed, and people go there regardless of uh, their, the, 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 the economic condition, actually. Um, finally, thirdly, outlook is good. Uh, I mentioned about the growth of the retail business in Hong Kong. So if you're thinking of Hong Kong, you're thinking of retail, there's none better than Fortune Reed. Um, growth, I mentioned growth through AEI. We are doing a bunch of things and we have done some successful projects in the past. So internal growth is actually uh, something that uh, is beneficial to our, our, share, our unit holders because we, we are able to uh, enhance our income and we are able to then continue to distribute uh, dividends. And then of course, uh, we, uh, we didn't deal with the financial side too much, uh, uh, but uh, uh, if you have seen our second quarter results, our balance is very strong. Our, our, our uh, what do you call, the, the uh, gearing ratio is only 18%. And just to give you a perspective, most REITs are in the 30% range. The, in Singapore, the limits are 35%. Or 60 percent, 35 percent if you are not rated, 60 percent you are rated, meaning you can leverage up to 60 percent. Uh, in Hong Kong, it's 40 percent, you can leverage up to 40 percent. But we are in a unique position where we are actually regulated by Singapore and Hong Kong, and where the two uh, uh, regulations are differs, we are subject to the stricter of the two. So if you like, we are the most well-regulated uh, REITs among all the REITs in Hong Kong and Singapore. We have two parents. Huh? And, uh, and typically, most of the REIT, you go out there and look, it's 20, 29, 30, 31, 32 percent uh, leverage. Whereas we are just right now 18 percent. Uh, of course, it means that we should really go acquire something so that we can actually deliver uh, more income to our unit holder. But it means uh, we are quite robust in financial terms. And also our, our loan situation is uh, also uh, uh, very comfortable. We have nothing to worry about for the next uh, five years. Uh, and our interest cost and so on is uh, very, very well managed. So uh, the, the, of 
course, uh, in terms of uh, internal growth, I mentioned AEI. In terms of external growth, acquisition right now in the Hong Kong market is actually not easy because uh, it is uh, they, they, what they call the market yield is very tight. Uh, and you, do, you want to buy, as you know, REIT must buy yield lucrative assets. But because of our relation with Hong Kong, we are able to uh, continue to look at, pro, uh, look at some assets that, uh, that uh, we can potentially you know, package and, and be able to buy it, uh, uh, either earning neutral or, or, or creative and uh, with the appropriate kind of structure. And we expect uh, really growth cool, uh, to come both from internal AEI as well as external acquisition.